Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the College Cooking Channel. My name is Tyler from College Express, and today I am so very excited to share a special segment that we've been cooking up for quite some time. A collaboration between us and Late Boomers Club. Now, Late Boomers Club, my boys over there, Evie and Scoops, have put together some music for you today to share their love for bread. And when we're done listening to that, I'm going to teach you how to make that love of bread right from the microwave. So stay tuned. Bread, bread, I need bread. Wake me up in the morning, just give me some bread. Before I go to work, can you give me some bread? Maybe for dessert, you can give me some bread. I said bread, bread, I need bread. Forget about the salad, just give me some bread. Make my toast curl when you give me some bread. All over the world, sing to give me some bread. Sticks, rolls, pitas, brioche, corn, loaves. Baguettes, croissants. All right, let's begin. Start by taking your two tablespoons of butter and melting them in the microwave. Now take that melted butter, add it to a bowl, and you're also gonna add in your sugar, yeast, salt, and a cup of warm water and start to mix that up. Next, you're gonna start adding in, in half cup intervals, flour to your mixture. Make sure to start stirring it around and making sure that it's getting a nice smooth consistency. I started off here with the spatula and that turned out to be a bad idea. So I ran over and I grabbed the whisk and things went a lot smoother. So I recommend you do the exact same thing. Continue doing this with the flour until you hit the two and a half cups the recipe calls for. Now towards the end, the whisk started to get a little bit hard to maneuver. So I went in there with my hands and started kneading the dough that way to get rid of any of the lumps that were in there. After you're content with the amount of dough kneading you've done, I want you to go and take your pan and spray it with some nonstick cooking oil. Take the dough and move it over to the pan and start spreading it out so it's nice and even. Once you get a nice even base, I want you to cover that pan up and set a timer for one hour because we're going to want that bread to rise with the yeast that we put in. One hour later. Now that your dough has risen, it should be about double in size, I want you to move it over into the microwave and put it in there for four minutes. After it's out of the microwave, I want you to transfer the bread from your pan onto a cooling tray and let it cool off for some time. Then you can cut into it and enjoy the bread that you just made right from the microwave. If you like this video, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. Also click the bell button if you wanna know when the next video goes live for a notification.